Hi guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just going to speak today about how to set up VST host um, to basically allow you to um, make your mic sound pretty good. You can put a few effects onto it and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it, it, my mic's going for it at the moment. I've got two copies of it open. So this is the copy of it that's actually doing the work at the moment. Um, and this is basically what I'm going to show you how to set up today. Pretty simple and it works really quite well. Um, so the programs you're going to want to install are you're going to, want to install um, three things: VST host, um, and you can either install the 64-bit or 32-bit um, version of the program. I'll link the downloads um, for that. You're going to install um, VB cable, um, which I will also link, and also the plugins which you're going to use inside of VST host, um, which is Replugs. Um, you can install all of those. It's all free software. VB cables donation where so if you do like the software and you do end up using it then um, try it out because you know and if you you know maybe give the developers a bit of money because it you know helps them out if you do actually end up using it so you can install um, the re plugin and you install um, the VB um, audio cable but VST host no need to install it just take the whole um, contents of the zip folder out and save it somewhere and it's all it's instantly um, good to go um, basically um, you don't need to install it you literally just run it um, and when you open it up you'll end up with something that looks like this um, first thing you want to do is set up your inputs and your outputs so you're going to go into devices and um, wave and you're going to want to set your input as um, and it's important to use NME, um, not DS, because DS for some reason puts a massive delay on your audio, um, and you obviously don't want that. So your input, you want. I'm using uh, my um, line in from my microphone, which I'm using a, a Scarlett Focusrite um, box, a converter box for um, XLR. So I'm going to choose that. And your output port, you're going to want to go NME again, and you want to go. For cable input for the VB audio cable I'm not going to select that because otherwise we're going to hear echoes and all kinds of funny things going on um, but yeah um, for the purpose of this video you'd select that as you'd select it as MME cable input um, sample rate leave the same buffer it's a bit of experimenting you want to get it as low as you possibly can um, without it sounding um, you'll hear it if it goes too low I tried mono 70 sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and there's not too much delay if I put it at about a thousand. So I've left it about there um, just because I think it sounds good and it's quite consistent with it working well. Um, so the first thing you want to do, so sorry, we've done the first thing. Second thing you want to do after you've installed all your plugins is tell the program where to find them. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go into file um, and you're going to want to set plugin path. And you want to go into C and you click these dots down here. And if you've done the default installation for replugs, um, then this is where you're going to want to go. So you go C, this PC, C, program files, and VST plugins. And you just click that, and OK. And I've got two there, so I want to delete, delete the one. But and then you just click OK. And then you want to go File, Rescan plugins. That's what you've got now. See it popped up down here very quickly, rescanning them. And you want to go to, and then when you want to plug in, you should be able to see replugs. Um, we're going to use a few. We're going to use the FIR. We're going to use plugins, replugs. We're going to use a compressor, recomp. And you see it doesn't really know how to connect them all up at the moment. That's not how we're going to do it. You go file, and you go plugins, um, replugs, and you're going to use um, the uh, EQ, wherever that is, re EQ. And then file, plugins, replugs, and you can use it if you like, or you can't, a regate as well. Um, and you see it's completely messed up how it's connected at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this blue dot here, and we're just going to untick all of these. And then click on this blue dot here. And that's not what I meant. <laughs> there might not be a quick way to do this. We might have to do it manually one at a time. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just do it one at a time. Just click on all these blue things and untick all of them. Um, right, for some reason, I'll let me click that one. 
by clicking at the center there we go um, so we now I'm clicked all of them and then you're going to lay them out in this order so you're going to go from the input free FIR free comp free EQ and then the re gate and then to connect them all back up again you just drag the blue line onto each one like so as you can see the line doesn't actually appear until you go on to another point so that threw me off um, initially um, but there you go so they're now all connected up and you can see um, I've got when I'm speaking I've got this little green line going all the way to the output um, which is obviously what you want um, so now we're going to configure everything um, and there is another video online that shows um, how to do this but it doesn't actually go into how to configure the plugins very well so I thought I'd make another video and concentrate mainly on how to configure these um, so this is a re FIR and you can use this as an EQ but we're not going to do that we're going to use this as uh, to get rid of noise so if I click subtract um, and then you'll see you'll notice up here none of the audio is going through and that's because um, this is our line and at the moment anything below that um, doesn't get through so what we're going to do is you're going to be quiet for about three or four seconds click your mouse a few times press some buttons on the keyboard if you like and click and then click this so I'm going to be quiet click this and then make a bit of noise with my mouse and my keyboards um, so and you'll see what happens And then you untick that, um, and now you can see when I'm not talking, there's nothing going through still um, because this is basically a line and it gets rid of any noise below that line. Um, so that's now set up for that first plugin, um, and that's instantly removed a lot of noise which you would otherwise have. So just click the X on there. Um, now we're going to the um, recomp. So this is a compressor. So basically, what this will do is if you speak too loudly, it will get rid of um, any noise basically. So first thing to do is look at where this bar is um, when you're speaking so I want to drag that down just to that about, about my normal speaking volume because I don't want it to be compressing all the time I only want it to be compressing if I say something loudly all of these settings I found to be okay except for ratio which I set to about five and then you'll find if I speak a bit louder you can see this bar here is showing the compressor working and that's limiting um, the um, maximum volume that will be allowed through basically so that's quite good um, that's what you need to do for that one so just up the ratio a bit and drag that to kind of the top of your normal speaking volume um, then close that then EQ me for my microphone I quite like the sound it has normally so I um, actually have left it as is um, but if your microphone's a bit um, you know think it's a bit high pitched or a bit too bass heavy fiddle around with the EQ move some stuff around and then you know you can think oh my microphone's got a bit of you know it makes me sound a bit too high pitched I want to make myself sound a bit bass yeah you know you can have a fiddle around with it and, and just listen back to your audio because you can fiddle around with it and make yourself sound kind of how you like like I say I prefer uh, just a, a flat line for my EQ and I think my microphone's got quite a nice uh, the way it picks up um, audio is quite nice as it is so I've just left that all like that last thing to do go into your regate um, and you can see here on the line we've got another bar except it started at the bottom uh, and what this thing does is it will limit any audio going the output um, basically if it's under a certain volume so you can see me talking is going to the output and then if I click my mouse a few times you'll be able to see that going to the output as well Um, and to, the way to get rid of that is if I drag this up to under where my speaking volume is but over about where my mouse was so about to here so you can see when I'm speaking I'm still going to the output but if I click now so you heard at one of those clicks I could maybe move it up a little bit further um, but yeah so me speaking is still going out um, but when I'm clicking it's not not going out so that's pretty well set up um, and that's how you set up all your plugins um, and then the only the final thing to do is if you're using OBS um, is go into settings and go into this is OBS studio so um, you just want to go into audio and go into um, microphone auxiliary device and you're going to want to select uh, cable output and then that will be the output of the program um, and that will all work fine um, the only other thing you're going to do is you want to go and you're going to want to click save um, go performance sorry and save as and call it you know I don't mind call it OB OBS mic 
setup click ok and then you want to go into performance as well and you're going to want to make sure that auto save plugin banks is set because otherwise um, every time you close the program and reopen it um, you're actually going to find out that you're going to have to reset all of your values for all of your compressors and your EQs and all that kind of stuff so make sure you auto save plugin banks um, and then just click save again and then you're ready to go and you'll have a pretty good sounding audio I hope you think the audio in this sounds sounds um, all right um, and if you do then um, well try try this out it's all free um, and it works quite well um, the only thing to do like I say is have a fiddle around with this um, and try and get that as low as you can um, while it still sounds you'll, you'll know as soon as it sounds bad um, but yeah um, hope that's okay hope that hasn't been too long sorry it's quite a long video 10 11 minutes and like I say someone has already made a video about this but they didn't actually go into how to set up the plugins that well they left most of the values on default um, so yeah thanks for watching and I hope you found this informative